back to another episode of GMBA. I'm Miranda Garcia. And I'm Michaela Reyes. Now that we're back from break, we're here to update you guys on what's going on around BA. Let's jump right into it. To kick things off, November is Native American Heritage Month. Oneida Ridge will be hosting an annual culture night on Thursday, November 30th. It starts at 6 and it ends at 8. There will be food and crafts, so be sure to join. It sounds like so much fun. BAHS Choir is having their cookie walk on December 5th at the Broken Arrow PAC starting 7 p.m. Be sure to stop by for a sweet treat and watch the show. FCCLA is hosting an annual holiday party next week, December the 6th at 4.30 in the Student Union. It is Polar Express themed, so be sure to dress up. There will be a blood drive on December 2nd. It starts at 10 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m. at Broken Arrow Lanes. To make an appointment, you can call the number shown on the screen. For those that don't know, fellow Christian athletes is holding a meeting in the field house on Thursdays before school. They start at 7.15. You don't want to miss it. Sit tight, guys, because we are getting ready for the first break of the episode. We are sending this show off to Jasmine Bell with her second installment of Getting to Know Your Faculty. Take it away, Jasmine. Welcome to GTKYF, a.k.a. Getting to Know Your Faculty. My name is Jasmine Bell. We have some special games in store. Let's jump right into it. We're here with a special guest. I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself. It's your boy, Coach Davis. What's happening, y'all? Coach Davis, now what do you teach and what do you coach? I only coach track. I've been doing track for about seven years now. I teach a class called Ethical Leadership. I teach a class African American Studies, and I also teach a customer service course. Because we know you as Coach Davis um, at the school, we want to get to know you outside of your teacher or coach position. And so essentially, we're going to be playing a couple of games to get to know you just a little bit better. Let's jump right into it. Oh boy. Okay, we're getting ready to play Guess That Tune. Essentially, you have seven seconds to guess the song that I'm playing. If you guess it correct, you get a point. About to be washed. Stop playing with him, Ryan. Oh, that's, uh, and that's Nikki like and uh, oh Afro Girl. Afro Girl? Girl? Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Spice. Good answer. That's, the Barbie, that's Barbie World. If you guys haven't seen the new Barbie movie, it's a 10 out of 10 in I'm my opinion. Lie. I actually enjoyed it. You that. liked it? It was funny. I know this song. This is such an old song. Yep. This is the band. I'm yelling, Tim. I don't know the words. I don't know who it is, though. Timber. There we go. There Timber by Kesha. I heard that one. The, 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 I've heard it. Nope. Nah, no. It's classic by MKTO. Well, you did a great job with that first game. We're moving on to our second game. You guys stay tuned. This is called Hot Takes. I'm gonna give you a bunch of controversial questions and you have to just answer what your preferences are. OU or OSU? Since my guy Robert Spears Jennings, I'm gonna go slightly to OU on it. Okay, all right. Should pineapple be on pizza? Pineapple should be nowhere near any. I so I agree. I'm not a pineapple person at all. Is cereal a soup? Nah, that's cereal. Okay. I had a bowl of frosted mini wheats <laughs> this morning. Okay, okay. Is tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Technically, it is a fruit. But it's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Are aliens real? Some of these kids is weird, so I'm gonna say yeah. <laughs> is water wet? Man, probably. This one now. Are you are you sure? Like, what's your final answer? Now, water, this has been a debate uh, for years. Water is water, but water can make things wet. I agree. Ding ding. I I think he's correct on all those answers. This is one of my favorites. It's celebrity, true or false, okay? So simply, this is sports edition. I even catered it towards you just a tad bit. And so all you have to tell me is true or false. True or false, running back for the Browns, Nick Chubbs on September 18th, experienced a devastating blow and is now out for the season. I know this is true because he was on my fantasy football team. He all was right. my first round pick. True or false, Cabri Harris decided to commit to Georgia, announced as of yesterday. That is False. Georgia, come holler at me. That, <laughs> that boy cold. All right, all right. True or false, LeBron James was sued for millions of dollars over a hockey film. I'm going to go I'm gonna go false. That's incorrect. Dang it's, it. it's, it's true. It's true. I know that one. All right, next, Tom Brady publicly announced yesterday that he's coming back from retirement to continue his career. False. Okay, false. Good job. You got majority of them correct, except for that one, but it's all right. You know your sports, though. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode of GTKYF. Thank you for joining me today, Coach Davis. All right, you can find me in Upper A, A208. That's where the Black Student Associated meetings are. Also, Wednesday mornings at 7.15. Simple plug, simple plug. Or if you guys are interested in track, winter tryouts again. December the 15th. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you guys next time. 
Jasmine. It's always awesome getting to know our staff in a fun and innovative way. Now to some more information. Attention students, FCCLA is having a winter drive. This drive will accept clothing, unopened hygiene bottles, and other items. All donations will go to the Be Heard movement. If interested in donating, bring any items in Building C or to Ms. Garza's room, A203. If you don't know, there's an Eagle Friends Club where they have monthly trash pickups. They would love for more students to join. If you have any questions, you can stop by Ms. Michaela Morgan's room in A262. Seniors, make sure you meet all the requirements needed to participate in graduation. Students needing more than one unit or two credits for graduation will not be allowed to participate in any graduation exercises, which this includes the current courses you're enrolled in. BAHS encourages all seniors to remain focused on all courses needed for graduation to ensure only one unit or two credits is going to be needed for the summer. Now we are sending this show off to Mallory Berry and Jaden Stewart to cover the GMBA big news in sports. Rising Sean Broken Arrow, I'm Mallory Berry with all your big news for this week. Congrats to our Broken Arrow High School Concert and Symphonic Orchestras. Both groups received all one ratings at the recent OSSAA State Regional Contest held in Edmond. Great job, guys. Tomorrow at 12, the University of Tulsa reps will be visiting in Main 124. Don't forget that Distance Learning Friday is this Friday. Make sure to log in and complete your assignments. Congratulations to our November Students of the Month, seniors Trenton Henderson and Jumaira Newis, juniors Hudson Beckley and Mila Wilder, sophomores Carter Mose and Abigail Gordon. Great job for displaying characteristics of Tiger Challenge. We only have a few weeks left in the semester, Tigers. Looking ahead, semester finals will be the 19th and 20th, Winter break will start on the 21st. That's all the big news I have for you all this week. Bye. Hey Tiger fans, I'm Terrence Booth and I'm Jane Stewart here with this week's sports update. First, to tip things off, our girls varsity basketball team will be competing at the Willard Tournament tomorrow at 4 and 7 p.m. Good luck, ladies. Now, Macy Childers recently made the NFCA All-Region 2 first team. Congratulations, Macy. Diving into our next sport, our girls and boys swim teams both recently competed at the Fort Gibson meet. Both of our teams dominated with boys and girls placing first. Amazing job, guys. Next, our boys varsity wrestling will be competing at the Stillwater Duel tomorrow at 6 p.m. They'll also be competing at the Garner Edgerton Tournament this Saturday at 8 a.m. Good luck, guys. Our girls varsity wrestling will also be competing this week where they'll compete at the J Border Wars at 10 a.m. this Friday and Saturday. Good luck, ladies. Well, Tiger fans, that's all the sports news we have for you this week. In order to stay up to date on all things Tiger Sports, be sure to follow at the Tiger Sports on all social media. I'm Cherish Booth. And I'm James Stewart. And we'll see you guys next time. Go Tigers. Thanks, guys. On to some more information. A Fast Fall Workshop will be held Thursday, December 7th from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the High School Financial Aid Representatives. It will be available to assist parents and seniors with creating a login to complete the FAFSA when it opens December 31st. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Kinney or Mrs. Giddens in College and Career Office. From the smallest muse to the loudest roars, each BA Tiger has a voice. This year's Spring Roar Writing Contest aims to amplify those voices. The BAHS Creative Writing Club is taking original submissions from students and staff for BA's second Roar Writing Contest. Winners will receive a platform to showcase their work with the student body in a special segment on GMBA, in addition to being showcased at Arts at 302 on Main Street in Broken Arrow. This theme for this writing contest is You and Your Roar, which stands for your radical, original, authentic representation of yourself and who you are as a real-life human. Multilingual submissions are accepted. We are accepting original submissions from all students and staff until Valentine's Day, February 14, 2024. Look for the QR code and posters around campus. Now we are sending this show off to Fit Check. Let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm Lauren. And I'm Raina Garcia. And today we're going to be seeing what you guys are wearing. Let's check it out. You guys may or may not know that Lauren is the OG Fit Check person. So Lauren, what do you have on? Okay, so today my sweater is from Princess Polly. My jeans are from Hollister and my jacket's from Hollister. It's a very cute fit. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Cherish Booth and I just got one question for you. What are you wearing today? My school clothes. <laughs> and why did you choose your outfit today? Well, it's chilly outside. 
but I wanted to stay in style. And that's on period. Okay, today I'm here with Caleb Starr. Okay, so why did you decide to wear that to school today? Oh man, it's just it's just an everyday <laughs> outfit. Air Jordans. No, yeah. One lows are comfortable. I like to wear oh, those. Yeah. Pants by Lulu, because they're comfortable again. Nike BA hoodie, can't go wrong there. Solid. Okay, so I'm here with Izzy. Tyrone. Tell me what you got on today. Uh, I got Nike Tech, some PJs from, I think, Walmart, and some Uggs from, I don't know, I stole them. Good. Nike hoodie. Baseball pants right here. It's a little Nike shoes, that's about it. Princesses dance enchantingly, and some dance for fun, as you will see. But Tell me a little bit about what you're wearing today. All right, so I got the, the Travis Scott merch on. I got the American Eagle jeans and the Air Force One shadows. Ooh. I'm here with? Jackson McKnight. Um, could you tell me what you got going on here? Um, yeah, so sweater is from ASOS. T-shirt underneath, thrifted. Jeans, thrifted. Nike up tempos. And then my Broken Arrow student ID that you should always wear 24-7. Okay guys, that's all we have for this episode of Fit Check. We really loved seeing all of your outfits, and I think Officer Holden has a word for us. Remember, IDs out and displayed all day long when you're on campus. Thank you. <laughs> Bye guys. Awesome job, Lauren and Reina. That's all for this week, but if you have something interesting you'd like to share with us, please send it in. It's great getting new stories to cover. Just a reminder, everyone, to tune in every Monday to watch our new podcast, Into the Jungle, at Broken Arrow High School on YouTube. Teachers, if you have any announcements you would like to be featured right here on Good Morning Broken Arrow, email the address on the screen. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow us on all social media platforms. You can follow us at BAHS Tigers on Instagram, Twitter, and check out our YouTube page and website for all the best student produced content. Have a great day, Tigers, and remember, our vision is to empower you to be college, career, and life ready. We will see you next week. Bye! Bye.